Hello y'all. Welcome to part 5 of my Iceland Communist Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, The Road to 56. In part 4, our big ally, the Union of Soviet Republics, got themselves into a war with Japan over Bhutan, which they don't even border in any way at all. Also, Europe is on fire. And right now, we are doing the focus propaganda efforts, and that will take like 60-some more days until it's finished. So that is just something we are doing. And let me take my army here and change up my plans in China. we got to defeat the Republic of China. Let me get some military access from Japan. We're not fighting against them. I don't want to be involved in that war at all. I don't want to fight the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Spear. So let's move these units now near Chongqing and go and move into the capital of the Republic of China. That is the plan Bulgaria submits to Romania. And I think that means Bulgaria has become a puppet of Romania. I'm not sure though. Let me see here. Yeah, so they're part of the Allies now. And they are in fact a Romanian puppet. The Sardom of Bulgaria is. Romania is busy fighting the Axis alongside Yugoslavia and the Balkans. They're relatively isolated and that is bad for them. Tibet joined the Greater East Asian Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Spirit. Did the Soviet Union attack them? What are you doing, Stalin? Stop getting into wars with random countries. You're just making this more hard for yourself. We just gotta get done in China. We really do. So we move these units around toward Chongqing, get down there. Free civilian factory, I suppose. We should just start building another one. There are some naval battles going on in the Atlantic, not too far away from us, relatively speaking. Modified officer core. Let's grab this cavalry guy, because why not Icelandic cavalry? Maybe that could be a strat. I don't know though. And Afghanistan joined the Comintern. So that's a new member of the communist faction that is the Comintern. The USSR wants us to join their war. I say no. Let's sign a non-aggression pact with the Kingdom of Nepal, who is in the Japanese faction, the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Spear. We're going to get the Chongqing soon, moving these units forward. I have no clue how many units are defending the city. All I know is that it's the capital of the Republic of China led by Chiang Kai-shek, and I want them to lose the war soon. I want it to end. They have to have 5% or less of their victory points. They, curr they currently control 22%, and Poland joined the Allies. I'm not sure if that's going to go anywhere. They could open up another front in the east for the Allies, but at the same time, they don't really control a port, which is an issue, and the Netherlands has capitulated. That is unfortunate for them, and the Allies are losing ground a lot in Western Europe. The fall of Paris has occurred, so yeah. France is going to go down soon, so will Luxembourg and Belgium probably, and then after that the Allies are going to be kicked out of Europe nearly almost. After that it's just going to be the countries in the Balkans, and they're probably going to be facing the full weight of Italy and the German Reich and all their allies, which will be a, just a bad situation for them. The Grand Duchy of Luxembourg has, capitu has capitulated, no surprise there, they're just heavily outnumbered and keep pushing here. How are we doing in China? Advance forward. I think the Japanese are having to shift some of their divisions around because they're busy fighting China as well as the USSR and it takes a lot of divisions to fight the USSR. Just so much manpower on both sides. And let me see how many divisions. The Comintern has a total of 279. Meanwhile, oh wait, this is a different war. Let me see the other one. Engineer Company 2 has been researched. I gotta see this specific war. And let me get maintenance company or no? Let me research artillery. I can't believe we don't have artillery. But let me go to that war in particular between the Japanese and the Soviets. We have, where is it? Right here? No, that's not it. Oh, here we go. Yes, so the USSR, that's not right either. Oh, come on, where is it? That's not it either. Why is it? Oh, that's the Chilean Civil War. German, no, that's not right. Is this it? No, okay, forget it, but the point is, Japan and the USSR are facing off against each other, and both sides have tons of soldiers, and the propaganda efforts is done to death of Rudolf Hess. He was trying to land in the UK, I think, and propaganda efforts is done. Let's now start doing advanced weapons, and this will reduce army training by 5%, and add 5% infantry weapon reliability and 5% artillery reliability to a national spirit, or just home defenses, or something like that. And now let me start researching support 38 or anti-tank rifle that works. And what I was saying earlier is that just Japan and its puppets and its faction members of the 
faction members of the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Spear, they have plenty of divisions they can use, like Manchuria. Let me check how many divisions they have. They have, let me see, 40 to 98, so that's nothing to laugh at at all. And the USSR has to fight all those guys. It's ridiculous. This is a big war, and I can't believe the USSR got themselves into this. And China is pushing out pretty hard. we got to push them back, use force attack, and let me give an extra battalion to my main infantry division template. Well, it is the infantry division template for Iceland. And how much equipment do we have? Enough. They have enough. And now the Mexican Soviet Republic. There's a second Mexican Revolution happening now. So looking over there, going across the Pacific, we have the, the fall of Cairo. That has occurred. That's a blow to the British. We have Catholic Mexico versus Soviet Mexico, essentially. So communist Mexico versus fascist Mexico, in a sense. And modified officer corps. Don't worry about that. Let me go to this here. Well, what can I do? What can I do? Belgium has capitulated. Not surprising. And I won't be surprised. Dublin falls to Norwegian troops. Let me get now material designer. Let me get a locomotive guy. Is a locomotive person... Is that even necessary? I don't know. I don't know if the Iceland locomotive works would be useful to us at all. And small arms M39 is researched. Let's get a light aircraft designer instead of anything related to locomotives. I don't know if that would be useful to Iceland. So now let's start making small arms M39 and also start making civilian trains when possible. I need one more factory on small arms though soon. Research slot available. Let's start getting full power cartridges and that will be done in 131 days. Improved computing machine done is now complete and it's researched and it's done. So let's do support 40. Get that started. So we're doing a bunch of military techs right now, especially for our infantry. Who are having a fun time fighting against the Chinese, evidently. So keep pushing here. Push forward. Come on. Get into their capital. Overwhelm their lines. Go forward. I need more manpower. I do need more manpower. Keep pushing forward. Advance forward for Iceland. For the Workers' Republic of Iceland, we must win. Let me set an offensive line here. We need supply, too. That is an issue. So push forward here. The Vanguard of the State of Chile joins the Axis. And I won't be su surprised if the Chilean Civil War, it has become an international affair. So the Republic of Chile now joined the Allies. And so the fascist Chile is now in the Axis. And democratic Chile is now in the Allies. So that Civil War is going to have to end on the international stage, so it seems. And we have a new infantry division here, or two. Let's move them to China. Can I get a trait from my commander here, please? Let's give him infantry expert, and that will grant our infantry divisions higher attack. He already has infantry leader. Infantry expert should be pretty useful, though, so keep pushing forward. I mean, the entire formation is infantry. And the Third Empire of Haiti joined the Synarchist Pact. I think that's the faction led by Mexico, Catholic Mexico, to be more specific. I believe they are, yeah. So they are, in fact, that, yeah. Huh. And they are busy fighting Brazil as well as Soviet Mexico. That is happening. So keep pushing here. Advance in the Chong, Chongqing breakthrough. Come on, go. Let me enact this offensive line. I want to get this war over with. We've got a breakthrough. Go forward for Iceland. We're going to take their capital one way or another. Or at least take provinces next to it. We need to win here. We need victory. I want to be done in Asia. I want to be done in China and just finish up our, our adventure here. Well, not so much adventure, but our land-grabbing exercise. Keep pushing forward. Go. Use force attack. Should that be enough? I don't know. They're holding down that city so hard. That's going to be a problem. Keep pushing, though. Overwhelm them. Attack them. Attack them from this angle with these Japanese soldiers. Iceland and J Japan will work together as island nations to drive out these Chinese soldiers here and just defeat them and take this city. I hope that's how things will work out for us. Keep going forward. The Chinese took another province. They're going on quite the counteroffensive, aren't they? China is really having to move out some units to fight the Soviets. I mean, Japan is. And let me now get Iceland Defense Initiative done. And once it's done, we'll get a bunch of coastal forts and two anti-air in Iceland. So that's going to be completed. And how is Army Defense, look, Home Defense, is looking quite nice for Iceland. I just wish it gave us overall more division attack and division defense on more than just core territory. Because core territory buffs are very useful. Yes, but they're very defensive-oriented by design. And Yugoslavia has now capitulated. That is a big blow to the Allies in the Balkans, so now it's just Romania and Bulgaria. 
Romania is on their own, though, so they're probably going to get overwhelmed. Maybe Greece will join the Allies? I don't know. They are democratic, but that's no guarantee per se. Doctrines available. Let's unlock the next part of Mass Assault, and that is Defense in Depth. That is done now. Field Artillery 30 has been researched. Let's now start doing Interwar Artillery. That would take 95 days. Keep pushing into China. we got to have a victory here. Come on. Keep advancing forward. Move. Go. Overwhelm them. Attack with so many divisions. Drive them back. Attack here. Take Sonyi or push for it. Capture the city. Come on. Icelandic troops got this. Icelanders all the way. Fall of Vladivostok. That is the fall of a Soviet city on the Pacific coast. It has a, that is a defeat for the Soviets. And it was right here. That was a wow. That was a rapid advance by the Japanese, wasn't, wasn't it? And it looks like if things don't go well for the Soviets soon, they could be facing an encirclement here in Nikolaevsk. Levitsk, or yeah, they're just going to lose a bunch of troops if they cannot save these units here and just go on the counterattack or evacuate those units. And here's a new infantry division bringing them to China. Keep pushing forward. Where is the capital now of the Republic of China? It's, on, it's in Gomud, isn't it? Yeah, it's up there. Great, we got to somehow capture that. That's going to be fun. And the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics annexes the Tuvan People's Republic. I guess that's going to make a difference, but Tanatuva is gone. Rest in peace, Tanatuva. You were one of the best nations in the world. And let us now start researching fighter, because we don't have fighters. We just don't have that tech. And do we leave Chongqing and hope somebody else can hold it for us? I don't know. Take some need, though. Keep advancing forward. Come on. We, ne we definitely got to end this war. I want this to be over. I want to get done in China. Please, advance forward more. Keep attacking. Just overwhelm their troops. The Japanese just do not have so many units here. Maybe the Tibetans could take Gomud. I don't know if they can or not, though. That is going to be a problem. Romania has capitulated, and with that, I would say, well, Bulgaria is going to fight on, but they're going to be heavily outnumbered. The Allies in Europe are effectively dead, unless Poland does something, but even if they do, they're going to be very isolated. They have no ports. They have no connection to any other members of the Allies, and that is just bad. It's now just going to be the United Kingdom, really, that's carrying the faction. But I won't be surprised if there will be a naval invasion soon. And it looks like they drove the Norwegians that were in Dublin off. Yeah, they, the Norwegians lost there. Sardama, Bulgaria goes down. That is that. There's a lot of fighting going on in North Africa, East Africa as well. The Italians are going to lose some island. Or is, are those German divisions? Well, the East Africa Corps belonging to Germany seems like they will be annihilated or forced to retreat. Keep moving into China, please. we got to win here. Hold on to every city we've captured. Take more cities at the same time. How many victory points do they have left? They have to have 5% or less. They control 10% right now. Oh my goodness gracious. They do not go down easily, don't they? I mean, that's expected, but they just take so long to get defeated. Now let's research jungle infantry. I don't know if we're ever going to use them, but we'll have the tech anyway. Move into Guiyang. Capture that city, please. Advance there. Overwhelm those forces for the sake of Iceland. Get it done. Island defense initiative is complete good and let us now get the what can i do now what can i do let us complete this focus here build up icelandic infrastructure to get to infrastructure in iceland neat i guess we have more roads and stuff like that and modify the government what can we do can i change the manpower law yes let's go with all adults sir we need any manpower and all manpower i need it i need it so badly we only have a population of 1, 100, 125,000, so we need all the manpower Iceland can possibly get for wars. Keep pushing here, though. We're on our own. A lot of the Japanese divisions have been pulled back for the most part. We are still being aided by some of them, though. Advance forward. Take, take Long Yang Shan. Capture that, please. Go forward. Get it. Use force attack. How, many, how much equipment do we have? We have enough. Okay, we need more support equipment, though. That is a problem. I definitely need support equipment. And can I get more steel from anyone at all? USA, steel. I need steel. And I need aluminum from the USA. And there's so... Oh, that's not enough. Okay. We can't do that because we'd lose all, our, all of our civilian factories. I don't want that. And how is the American Civil War going? The Constitutionalists are going on the offensive, I think. I think they outnumber the... There's a chance they may outnumber Douglas MacArthur's USA. Just looking at the divisions. I don't know, actually. Not sure. Oh, well. But that war is still going on. Research slot available. Doesn't seem like the Second American Civil War will be over anytime soon because a lot of the fighting is going on in the Midwest. 
in the capitals of both sides or on the East Coast and the West Coast. Now let me start researching concentrated industry four. We're still pushing more into China. I'm really looking forward to some kind of big victory here. Gulmud is still holding out. We're overwhelming so many enemy lines. Take Liangshan, capture it. Go forward, capture this province here. In Guizhou, capture it, go. For Iceland, capture it, go. What are you doing? How many more victory points do they have? They have they have 8% of their victory points. Oh my goodness gracious, there's Kang Ding right there. That is, oh my god, this is ridiculous. Keep pushing, build up Icelandic infrastructure is done. And now, let's start researching this here. Icelandic steel mill, steel mill to get some steel production in the country. And let's overwhelm these divisions here, get that over with, move on to that city. And I think, how many victory points do they have left? It's going to be over, as soon as they lose Gomad, it's going to be over. But right now, oh my goodness, just break through there. Please, Tibet, I'm counting on you. I know you're busy with my ally. You had the bright idea to want to fight you. I know you have to be doing other things. And there's a civil war in Turkey. And that's between the, who's that between? That is between the authoritarians versus authoritarians. So it's an authoritarian civil war in Turkey. Well, from an ideological sense, anyway. And I think with that said, I'm going to end what is part five of my Iceland communist path playthrough in Hearts of Iron 4 mod, The Road to 56 here. You can check out the mod in the video description. The link to it is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like and subscribe.